Hey, horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Mighty G, and this time I'm going to talk about last night's pre-ultimate episode of The Strain. Well, now we got one more episode left before we hit to the series finale, and this time really specifies between the brat, I mean Zack, and Epp, as they have finally have their confrontations since Zack blew up New York City and put the world that it is right now with the Master reigning. So, Zack feeds Epp this bullshit story about, you know, hey, look, I was on my own for a while. I ran into i course, you know, he took me up to the master, and you did me pretty good. I had played some video games and computers. Typical BS story. But what do we know if Epp has fallen for it or not? He truly does want to believe Zack, but he says, you know, I can't and you don't. And, of course, Epp doesn't. Come on, man, you blew up the city. You put the world where it is right now, and you've been with the master for the past nine months. What do you expect? What do you expect? Do you think we're stupid, you little brat? I guess you can tell I really do not like this kid at all. And like I said before in my previous recaps of this show, he's one of the worst uh, children actors I've seen on a horror television show. But let's move on. Uh, after that, we also see that uh, Sanjay has been captured by Duke, I mean Dutch. And Feth, and they have their own and inter uh, interrogation techniques with him. Uh, I actually like Sanjay in this pit, pit in this episode right here because he simply throws back something at them uh, when they talked about uh, about how can you portray the human race and how many you kill, and he throws back to Ep and uh, Feth and Dutch. Well, how many have you killed? Hey, look, at least we were. At least this world was going on. He goes on his tangent about how the world was overpopulating. And, uh, you know, we have crazy people and bum people on welfare and the country's going to hell anyway. So at least the master has a solution to get rid of the weak. We can eliminate the weak so that the world can be a better place. Uh, this does not sit well with Dutch and she really beats the crap out of him, which I believe, you know, she beats the crap out of him. But it's kind of a nice scene right there and I really enjoyed it because eventually Dutch starts to shake her hand and... They have this last quiet moment, whether they think whether we do on the right thing or not, or what have we become since this war started. We also get a nice bonding moment between uh, Roman and uh, Gus. They meet up uh, to back up uh, Roman with the nuclear bomb. And we have a nice moment, bonding moment between those two. Uh, one scene eventually is saying, uh, if you want to apologize, you know, once this war is over, who do you want to apologize to? And uh we get a reference to a family that Gus was associated with back in season one or two. I'm not mistaken about this nice family that uh, he protected, I believe, in season one or two. Protecting, he wished they were still alive. I think her name was Anya. And Gus really liked her a lot. And I think it was one of the very tender moments that we ever saw at Gus. But at least Roman and, and Gus have a nice bond. So, uh, since, uh, ter since their interrogations did not work, uh, Quinlan, my boy Quinlan, decides he's going to uh, interrogate Sanjay. So he uh, unzips his, uh, he take, cuts off his bonds, pulls them into this nice little uh, area of, the, uh, hub, of their headquarters, and we see Sanjay's wife. And of course, they threaten him that if he doesn't tell them, he's going to suck her dry. And it's like, you might not think that these humans are good, but to me, She's lunch. He pulls out that uh, that uh, special effects tongue that these Rigoli have. Sanjay recreants, and of course he tells them about the Master's place in the Empire State, State Building. Well, Flory's the one and draws a diagram. I also like the fact that they also finally get Zack to do the same diagram to see if he's telling the truth. And of course, everything matches. But of course, we're all suspicious. As Duck says, I truly want to believe him. But unfortunately, my gut tells me that I can't. Uh, Ep and Zach have a nice, supposedly tender moment uh, on the roof after that little small interrogation. They actually give Zach a soda can, and Zach somehow can't open it. He uh, cuts himself and puts blood on the whatchamacallum. Ep notices this, and we finally get to the truth that Zach never meant to do anything other than to find out the location of where they're at and where the bomb is hidden. And F says, F, F says, you know what? At least have the DCC to look me in the eye and tell me the truth and stop putting your head down the ground, which I thought was a very great scene and a very great uh, writing aspect on the character because it would have been, 
I really hated it. Give me a second here. I would have hated it if they would have allowed F to believe uh, Zach, even though we know that he's not. And I give the writers credit this time for not having F uh, be a fool at a sap and take uh, Zach for his word. And I thought it was very good and very clever and very um, excellent because the character F. Goodweather, he's not a dumb man. He's a very smart man. He's a very clever man. So I really appreciate the fact that he saw right through Zach's deception. So it isn't before long, therefore, we realize that the uh, feelers uh, will be smelling his blood and get the location. So they get the dodge uh, out of there soon. And of course, the master comes there with his minions. He easily dispatches Sanjay and his wife, and he's kind of pissed off anyway. And he tells Zach. I will not tolerate any weaknesses uh, for you because he said you were supposed to get the location of the nuke and not signal us uh, sooner. But Zach said, look, I had to do it because they saw right through my deception. But look, kid, it looks like you're effed because the masses ain't playing no more. Uh, the final scene, we see Quentin getting ready to, uh, you know, he's going to say, I once he, uh, they actually Roman, Builds a uh, remote control device for the nuke. And uh, they go to the Empire State Building. Of course, the Master's not there. We see all his minions there. One of his minions, I think her name is April. She's April there. She speaks to the Master. And he says, we'll have a time and place for my children when we will have our final showdown. Not now. Roman easily dispatches her. And he's surrounded by other minions. And then not only that, our gang is also surrounded by minions as well. As now we get ready for the final showdown and the final uh, episode of The Strain. So I thought it was a pretty good episode. Like I said, I really appreciate the fact that nobody fell for Zach's deception. And especially not uh, Epp. I thought he was very good. I know he truly wants to believe in his son. I know he wants to save his son. But, he really, but now that he knows his son is lost, just like he said... You made your choice, now live with it. So I really don't know what plans they're going to have for Zach. Maybe Zach might finally realize he, uh, that he's not uh, that he really fucked the world over and he really needs to sacrifice himself because, remember, Strachan said that there has to be a sacrifice. So obviously somebody's probably going to die next week in order to uh, whatever they, whatever plans the show writers have for the show. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how they're going to end the series. So what do you think about this episode? Did you have you been watching it? Do you think the last three episodes have been pretty good? Comment below and let me know and we'll talk about it. Because I think the last three episodes have been pretty good. Uh, kind of make up for the lackluster beginning of this final season. Well, that's my recap for The Strain for last night's episode of The Strain. Uh, stay tuned. I'll also be doing a recap of last night's uh, uh, mid-season premiere of Fear of the Walking Dead. That will be coming up soon as well. Uh, like I said, this is your first time here. Please like, share, and comment below. And uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel as well. So that way uh, you'll get to join the horror experience and be part of the horror family. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Money G. And always remember that horror rules. <laughs>